Hi you guys welcome back to my channel my name is pj if you're new here in today's video i'll be showing you guys how i installed these yaki texture clip-ins from curls queen i've worked with them before in the past using their tape-in extensions and their micro links and their hair is always so beautiful we'll be using their 20 inch light yaki extensions their hair never disappoints when it comes to how full it always is all the way down to the ends and yes, this is one bundle that I'll be working with. You'll receive a variety of different tracks at different limbs with different amount of clips on each weft. So what I'm just doing here is sectioning off my hair and the first track that I'm be using has four clips on it. It goes from ear to ear. When parting your hair, it does not have to be perfect. I just typically always just try to make all my parts personally as neat as possible, but it does not have to be that way. These are some extremely comfortable clips, so you don't have to worry about it feeling uncomfortable or like wearing them while you're sleeping. Because honestly, I've already had these hair in for about three days now and I barely can feel them. I didn't even use the entire pack of hair either. I still had about like three or four clips left over because the amount of hair on each of these tracks is so thick, the coverage is incredible. I was a little skeptical at first when applying these clips because I did recently just get my hair cut again. So I was scared that the it just it was just not gonna work out. But it actually did. I always surprise myself with y'all when I do my hair because I never really think that it's gonna work. I just like to try stuff. Yeah, so far I think I've only used about like four of the tracks it comes with and look how good it already looks. So at the top of my hair, I'm going to be using a few of the wefts that comes with two clips and three clips. Clipping extensions is always a great option for changing up your look really quick. And I love how these blend so nicely with my hair. And when you have really short hair like mine, it's better to leave just a little leave out out at the top so you won't have so much hair to have to worry about working with. I leave just as much hair out as I do if I'm putting on a V-part wig.
Now it's time just to lay my baby hairs. You don't have to do this part if you're not into that, but I love this even edge control. Um, I get mine from the hair store. And I typically like to do this because when I wear straight hair, I typically wear it behind my ear. I always pull it back. So this is a hairstyle that's kind of been trending on TikTok and Instagram. And I wanted to go ahead and give it a try while I have these clippings in. I won't be removing any. I'm just going to work with what I already have going on. So I just pulled two pieces of hair from each side and pull it to the back into a ponytail. And now I'm taking the middle section and pulling that into a smaller ponytail. And then right at the end, before I twist it up one more time, I'm gonna make a little ball and have some hair sticking out like a fan. And then you can either take some bobby pins or a claw clip and then just put it right above that little ball that you created so that your hair that you, that's sticking up can just spread out like a fan. I typically like to wear my hair straight with just a few curls at the end sometimes, but we're just testing it out to see how well it looks with curls. And I honestly feel like you could get a better curl out of this hair, but I don't have the best curling iron. But it still worked out perfectly fine for me if you're trying to go for that loose curl look. And I feel like you still it still would have looked really good if I had put layers in it, but I really didn't want to cut my clip-ins. So yeah, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this install and the different hairstyling tips that I gave. So yeah.